So let's talk about a German life sciences company, Bayer AG, to start with. It's got a whole lot of pharmaceutical stuff going on and consumer health involving also drugs and that sort of thing. But it's got a big crop science division and that part of the business is about to get sharply bigger because it's trying to or is in the process of closing a deal to buy Monsanto of the United States of America for about $45 billion. When it does that, it will be without doubt the largest player in the crop science, seed and fertilizer market, but also critically in the weed killer market because they'll then own Liberty and Roundup, two core products that are used to control weeds in the farmlands. You see, that's how it works. Market capitalization of Bayer as it stands without the Monsanto deal is 78.38 billion euros. So these days, euros, dollars, they're about the same. I guess you can just use yes, the yep, same number. Certainly, yep. <laughs> That's quite handy. Price to earnings ratio, 15.99. Dividend yield of 2.75. Joseph, an overview. I mean, let's assume the deal goes ahead. So that puts them right up there as one of the major suppliers to the global agri-industry. So certainly, I think the opportunity for them to control the market and to increase their bottom line is quite huge, given the fact that, I mean, 78 billion and they're going to be paying 45 billion. Mm -hmm. The issue is that are they paying too much for it? So the debate is that possibly they're paying too yeah. much for it. But if we look in terms of where we are globally, okay, agriculture or food production has to be one of those um, industries that is going to be looked as we mm -hmm. mentioned, 1.4 billion people in China, 1.3 um, in India. So if they can come and say, well, we can supply you, uh, you know, with all your agricultural requirements, fantastic, you know, uh, you know, in terms of obviously trying to... And they uh, are a big player in India. They've developed certain rice uh, strains which have been... Because they also do genetic engineering, yes. not only, obviously, of the seeds. Well, it's the same thing, I yep. guess, as yep. when you're selling the seeds. Because yep. we know what kind of seeds they deal with here. Yes. So corn, for example... You know, when Monsanto sells your crop, each individual kernel has been wrapped or covered or coated rather yes. in a kind of blue outer wrapping, which is resistant then to borer beetles and exactly. it's drought resistant yeah. and has been genetically engineered. Plus, it's genetically engineered not to respond to the weed killer. Yes. So yes, you yes. can plant the stuff close by each other, then you can give it a full oh, dose of Roundup, of roundup kills yeah. everything else, but <laughs> your milli is going like a bone. like that, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. It's an that incredible concept. That is basically concept. the tricky part of it, but also it has to be with the timing, you know, and mm. also uh, the moisture around that, because sometimes when you put in your weed killers, um, uh, it might actually uh, damage your crops as well. So normally so we do what we call too. dry planting. So you, you basically put in your weed killer is immediately you put your, your seeds on the ground. Interesting. Let's have a look at the share chart, because clearly when you're a sizable company, but then you start making overtures to a competitor, and you're going to pay a big number for them, and you're going to pay a premium. Because Monsanto is trading at about $100 a share, but I think the buyout offer is at about $128 per share. So buyer has softened a bit because people are worried that they're going to put their own balance sheet under pressure as a result of the buyout. But it looks as though the Germans have ideas to do the funding for the Monsanto purchase, a combination of debt, of which there's yep. plenty of appetite yep. out there at the moment, because they'll offer a bit of a better yield yep. than yep. European sovereign bonds. Yes, yep. Plus then there's a bit of convertibles and that sort of thing coming through. And in the meantime, Bayer in the background has still got Claritin and Coppertone and all of those drugs that they have in the Bayer plan. They invented Aspirin, the company. They've got one of the world's largest selling uh, antibiotics in the form of all those Cipro, Cipro Bay, Cipro, all the other stuff as well. So I don't know. What do we say? Hot on this one or not? I mean, it's fairly elevated at a 16 PE deal-related anxieties? Are you leaning hot or are you going to go with a more well, conservative Well, it has come form? down, really. But if we were to keep the dividend yield intact and they manage to integrate the two businesses, um, uh, well, I, I think there's an opportunity. When you get a share price that has been a little bit under pressure recently uh, from obviously the peaks and they manage to do this deal, although there are those issues that they're paying too much of a premium for it, uh, I think in the long term is to uh, one of those companies you might want to have on your portfolio. Yeah. As you bet down the deal, Certainly, investors will be like, you know, how, is this the right decision? Is not the right decision? But long term, I still believe it's a good stock. Okay, so let's give it a hot. I will just point out as a small aside that when Trump got elected, the stock price of both Monsanto and Bayer went up a little bit because the general view appeared to be that he hadn't said anything nasty about them and their deal. Exactly. There were a couple of other deals on the water, mm -hmm. like AT&T's. Mm -hmm. 
deal to yep. buy something rather. What are they trying to buy? Time Warner yes, or something? Yes, yes, which Warner, you've yes, sent yeah. some negative things yep. about. So that yep. went down a little bit. But this one appears well, to be. Well, purely because the media didn't like him during the election. So <laughs> he was going to say anything. Plus, he seemed <laughs> to think that it would be too big or something. But he didn't have anything to say about the corn business. Remember, he was market. appealing to the farmers, to the county people during his election. So he mm. needs to be able to make sure that he's promoting agriculture and anything that has to do with small businesses and obviously the American guys. Right, yeah. in the rural areas. Okay, good. So we're going hot on buyer, one to watch.